Hello, it is Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning, I've come to have a look at this dumper. I'm pretty much caught up with work now. I've come to have a look at this dumper um, for, I think it's like an oil leak or something on the engine. Um, so we're gonna take a look at that. And hopefully the starter motor for its brother will be in stock by the time I get back through at Carlisle. I'm just out West Cumbria at the moment. Um, so I'll have a quick nosy over this and then with a bit of luck, when I get back through at car, I'll, I'll have a starter motor waiting. Go and put that on. Um, and that'll be me pretty much caught up. I have got a 4,000 hour service and a shovel to do on Friday. And I've got, oh, I'm off tomorrow. Chopping grass, silaging. So uh, that's the state of play. Whether or not this will make a full video, I doubt it. And we'll just add this onto Friday's video and we'll do Friday's video on the weekend and I don't know, we'll chop it all up but anyway yesterday it was just a sort of bits and bobsy day and there wasn't really a lot to show you. So with that said we'll go and have a look at this oil leak, I've got an email with a picture so I know roughly where to look um, and literally all I think all I have to do is take pictures of it and see what all we need to sort it. So talking to the fella on the digger it is a water leak and going by the picture, which I'll try and fetch you up. That one there. Which to me, it looks like that pipe there. So that's water going into the EGR cooler. Uh, where does that go to then? Oh, it's just a short bit of pipe down to there. So I don't know what the story is with it. like. Have they been and tightened it up and it's not leaking anymore, or...? Or what? I don't know how tight that is. But, uh, Get a new EGR pipe for it then if it's split. So... Yeah, that's what that is. <laughs> I talked to the lad that drives it. Um, I've just put a new grease nipple in down there. So that was fun. Um, I've found that they are good at snapping grease nipples on these dumpers, like. Um, so the story is that the machine overheated and the lad came out, found that that pipe had blown off. He's put it back on and then for whatever reason I had to come out and take pictures and have a look at it, make sure it was right. It looks like it is, it's not leaking anymore. Um, we've topped up the coolant, obviously it must have lost it all. And uh, I've just topped that up, just a litre. So I wonder if it's just had a bit of an air off once it filled it up and it's just settled out now. That's what I reckon anyway. So, um, yeah, I will wrap it up like that, head back to the yard, get the starter motor. I'll look forward to that one, like. Ah, a different dumper, from one dumper to another. Uh, I got back to the yard, that starter motor still hasn't turned up. Um, I thought I'll fetch the wrong starter motor or the one that I think is wrong and I'll show you for why in a second. Um, also being got some 50 amp maxi fuses, we had big, uh, we had 30 amp ones and 70 amp ones but no 50s so been to Cumbria Autos, got some, uh, I've got two just in case. Um, so yeah, my plan is to take the starter motor off this machine. Um, and just have a look at it compared to the one that I've been sent, just in case it will fit. Because um, I kind of want this machine for the end of the week and the new starter motor isn't in, or the, the correct, or the one that I think it should be correct. So anyway, I'll show you the, 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 the one that was sent. Things have dried out anyway since I was last here. I wouldn't have dared go any further than there on Monday morning. Definitely dried out. Anyway, yeah, this is uh, so the box came like this, and the starter motor 
is in a hat box. I just don't think it's similar. So they've got hat engines in the smaller pedestrian rollers. That isn't it, like no way it was there. I mean, the exciter wire and everything just doesn't look the same. It's the right. Well, it doesn't even have any lugs to hold it on, does it? Look, no way in creation that's going to fit. Oh. I don't know if I'm just wasting my time or what, but I've nothing else to do really. And this is only three quarters of a mile away from base, so I thought I'll just come here. Might take it off while it's dry, then if I come back and it's pouring down with rain, all I've got to do is put it back on in the rain rather than take it off in the rain. Um, I could take it and see if I can get a new one locally. I don't think. How many different varieties are starting motors now, isn't there? Anyway, I'll phone my parts man as well because I've not been able to get hold of thing this morning. Okay. Well, belly plates off. Went with a clatter. Um, Start motor's not a bad look, it's just there. <laughs> There's the ECU, handy. <laughs> that is in a good spot. Next to the wheel. But I suppose there's a cover over it for anybody that's wondering. I don't like the look of that. Uh, yeah, let's have a look then. We're gonna need, oh, it's definitely different look. 100% different. But I'll take it off and we'll see if we can get it, see if we can get anything locally. And I'll also need to disconnect the battery before I do this. It's gonna stupid bit the battery on these. So under the floor plate here is the battery. I'm gonna disconnect that there. Um, yeah, not brilliant like, but it uh, could be worse, could always be worse. Things could always be worse, couldn't they? Take that off quietly. Because I don't want to be swinging spanners around on that starter motor with a live wire about them. I mean, might do some damage, especially when it's so close to that ECU. Don't want any accidents. So that's the machine dead now. Right, we'll crawl back underneath the machine and see what all we can take off. We'll get in there anyway. Get this nut off here, that'll be the wires off it. And then I've got three, it looks like. I bet they're 15 mil nuts. M10 thread, three of them to come off. What I'm going to do is cable tie all the wires together that go on the same pole. So when I come back to put it on, I'll know, hopefully. <laughs> That's the plan. You have to be persistent with this one, like. That's difficult. Very difficult. There we go. Right. Get a couple of, uh, what are that now? 15s. I'll go and get my 15. Right. I'll have a go at this then. God, they're tight. Good night. Do it longer. Fuck it. Going well. Try again with a hex socket instead of a multi hex. There we go, that's better. Right, we'll leave that one on until I've got the rest off because that's the easy one to be at. Next one's here. I don't even know how to get to the top one yet. That is tight. Right. Can 
Can I do this without swearing, do you think? Last one in a minute. Get this off. Right. Let's see then. Right, I'll go up top and have a look. There's the other one. Ah. Uh, try and get it. Smoke, please. Don't know why that one. Hmm. Uh, put that off there, hang on. Right. Shorter extension. What's that going to be? Right, put the extensions down here. Let's have a look. Yeah, there, look. I'll go with that. It's on. Let's see if I can get my ratchet on there now. Chances. Hopefully, they're good. Ah, oh, you got it. Got that other one at the bottom to run off. That'll fall out. I'll have a bit square up with the wiring. But, uh, yeah, cool. That's a starter motor anyway. It's one of them. Uh, that won't be similar to a Doosan engine. Perkins, or Doosan with a Perkins engine, I don't think. Uh, not, sure. not unless it goes that way around on the perky. I'll have a look at anyway. it. We'll have one back at base, but I'll take this back for the storesman to send pictures to these lot um, and other suppliers if we need to. Oh, what I'll do is I'm just going to put a zip tie on these three earth cables. I'll probably. Well, these, that one there, that one there, and that one there. I probably won't forget, but like I say, I'm off tomorrow, and if something happens and somebody else needs to come and fit it, hopefully it makes it a bit easier for them. Seller over there digging his tracks out. It's not often you see that on a building site when there's no to do. Most folk just sit in the cab and wait until there is something to do. <laughs> oh, I'm just generalising. I'm sure there's plenty of you out there that'll dig your tracks out when there's no one. Right, speaking of now on, that's me working pretty much. Um, what time is it? I washed the van last night, restocked it, quarter past two. We'll take this starter motor back to my man in the stores and see what we can come up with, I think. Right, it's just before six o'clock. I've just turned up to take over carting some trailers. And uh, when I turned up, there was a pen knife out and there was a... Uh, this in pieces so I've just grabbed a few book connectors I'm just gonna tidy that up before we set off I'll check the lights must have don't know what's happened don't know what's happened but anyway I'll tidy that up but yeah we are into wheat harvest now wheat is coming off nicely and um, the baler is in the field too following the combine so Hopefully, well, we're going to have this field cleared today um, and then move back to the home farm and farm number one tomorrow or tonight even. Uh, and it'll be all good tomorrow because we'll be silaging and sort of combining and whatnot. So, yeah, I'll do a silaging video separate to this one, maybe. Just do a little short midweek video for this one. Obviously, I've not done a 
awful lot at work today. There's a Dia 30 dump truck over there. Doosan dump truck. There's a few on this road job. Uh, so down the bottom of there is going to be a new bypass around Carlisle, which kind of cuts across. The bypass cuts across the back of that brow of that hill there. Uh, right down the middle of a 26 acre, six acre field. But uh, yeah, it's the first time I've seen sort of that end of it because I see it at the bottom end and I see it at the top end, but I've not seen, there's a river down in that bottom that they're gonna cross um, and be a big bridge and whatnot. Yeah, I'm sure all of you are really interested in that. Right, I'll tidy this up and uh, check my lights and take this trailer load down. Right, that's a good start there working. I should have two indicators flashing away as well. One, two, even the Highline ones look perfect. Good. So yeah, we're doing wheat, we're doing wheat. Another thing that you have to watch with this trailer, I've noticed because I noticed that on the mudguard is if you swing hard left, this is inclined must be this bit here, look. That is inclined to come in contact with the mudguard. What a shame. Uh, suppose you could chop a bit off there, couldn't you? Half that, and that would then, I mean, that platform doesn't sit straight anyway. It sits down at an angle like that. So if you chopped a bit of that off, that would lift that further away, maybe. Anyway. Just something to watch with this trail. Right, we'll go down to the yard and tip this one off. I think. Yeah. Right. There we go, All right, we're off. Quite a leisurely job up here. Obviously that trailer back there hasn't got anything in it yet, so. Uh, this is farm two, going down to farm one to tip it. Last year it was that dry um, that we were tipping it straight into the shed and then we went through the dryer. So this year's a lot different. So, it's the field they've done this afternoon, all bailed up. There's the bail team ready to go. But it does look as though it wants to rain. <laughs> it's what temperature is it outside? 20 degrees outside, it is really clammy and it does feel like it could rain as well. But we'll keep that swear word out of this video, shall we? There's spring barley in there. It's a long way off that to me. <laughs> a good hot sunshine on that. Still green. Private lane this so you don't need to worry I'm not gonna get into trouble. Don't know when we'll get that brave stubble topped off. Get that job finished. Kind of all go with harvest at the minute and obviously silage. We only chopped these verges up two weeks ago. Two weeks on Sunday anyway. Coming back green again, look. Like. Right, I'll see you back down at the yard. We're coming up towards the main road now.
this is where we're tipping in this back corner, build it up along this wall and then it'll go through the dryer, out the dryer and then back up to farm two. <laughs> so it's going to come full circle but Gee, what an outfit look. That looks cool, doesn't it? I think it does anyway. Right, I'll uh, I'll pull the tractor out and then I'll go get the mini Manitou and just shove that heap in. So I'll just shove this heap up with this little 625. Um, just, I can't imagine we'll, you know, I'm not trying to heap it up anyway, I'm just trying to keep it away from that doorway so there's space to work around the dryer and whatnot and fancied a little play with this too but um yeah it, it's all right it obviously that bucket must be quite heavy because you don't get much in the bucket before it's telling you you've got too much weight in it i've got a suspicion that the sensor's a bit sensitive because <laughs> surely you know that's a bit sensitive that like anyway i've done what i wanted to do with it i'm finished get out of this wall before i get crushed up against it take the next load there and then uh, maybe do the same again we'll see Yeah, it's not really a grain store handler, this. Livestock handler. Nifty little thing, though. I'll park this out the way. 17.4 in that last load. So, yeah, I think he wants me to. 14% doesn't it but uh, yeah that's not so bad that isn't so bad right we'll head back up clean that off the back of there first hang on right back to the field just packed up that combine will probably go down there back up fill that trailer I'll take that trailer away the bale team has nearly cleared that first field. There's the handler and uh, where's the tractor? Over there. There's the tractor. Uh, the bale is still here somewhere down in that bottom. There's another baler over there, look, baling a bit of haylage. And a little massy run up machine. They told go. It is. That road crew down there, what time is it? Half past 20 to 7. That road crew over there, they're still bulldozing and earth moving and all sorts. Hive of activity. Hive of activity. Yeah. That hair smells good. <sighs> can't beat it, like, you can't. Can't beat it. I think I've got the most leisurely job, other than the man sat on the seat of that bale trailer. I'll have the most leisurely job. <laughs> Depends what you like doing really, doesn't it? Always fancy to go baling. I have. Always fancy to go on a big square baler, but... And when I came into the field there, he was up on top of that big square baler, messing around with the nutters, I think, so... You're imagining barley. Barley straw, it's not that much fun. Plus, knotters, that's witchcraft, isn't it? Knotters is witchcraft. Crow banger. Might as well clean the windows while I'm waiting. Wow. I use the mirror to keep the uh, door open on this side because it's not really a door that you're running and out of often because it's got them clips. And I'll do this one first. About worse than a mucky window. Especially in the sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> Might be sunny tomorrow and I don't know which tractor I'll be on yet. I'll 
I'll do it. Might be this one. It was this time. This one. I was on this one for first cut, wasn't I? Hey, right. Good tidy up look. Hey. <laughs> right. Put the handbrake off. I'm just gonna just do my mirrors. Uh, we'll back this one in. We'll tip it, and then we'll drop this trailer off and uh, go back up the header table. I never give it a thought really, but uh, when I was setting off this trailer, I looked at, because I've been that busy cleaning the windows, I looked at the uh, looked at the rest of the field and what was to do, and it would all go into that trailer I took back up there, so. Yeah, happy days. I'll drop this trailer off and go for the header table. First in here, look. Oh, this way, that's better. That feels better now. Right, get the zip in here. Uh, just because of the eaves and the silage sides, what I do is come around this way like this. And I know I'm going to put the trailer through the roof, if you know what I mean. Loads of space. Uh, which one will it be on this one, I think? I'm on this trailer tomorrow, or this tractor tomorrow, I'll swap that spool for that one there. So my up and down is up and down. Shut the door, open the doors all on there. trailer down because as I come out I don't want to take that off. <laughs> That'd be a silly thing to do. The door's going the wrong way. You can see if the door's coming down, I'm sure the door's coming down. I need to shut the door before it hits the bottom though. There. Good. Right, I'll drop this trailer off then and uh, go up and get the header table on. One, two, three, four, five. Lovely. Oh, I'll just have you lot wrapped over there for the time being. Right. On we go. There we go. Head a table on. You can pull through this field, put it on there, and then head back down to farm one. Right, I'll probably round this video up at that because by the time we get down there and set off, it'll be dark. And uh, might as well knock off then as well because it's literally the field across the road from the farm. So, two trailers in there will last him a couple of hours. and. I would imagine the dew will come down at about 10 o'clock and it'll be a bit soft and chewy and it'll be rubbish, so... Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll wrap this video up, I'll edit this one up and uh, I'll do a silage in one tomorrow, probably. Um, yeah, just a bit of a bits and pieces, that's what the title's going to be, I think, bits and pieces. Just a lot of not much, unfortunately. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one.